So God's investment on your life, the day you give your life to Christ, his investment on your life was the Holy Ghost. And the place where the Holy Ghost currently resides in you is your human spirit. Making your human spirit a very important organ. If you are going to know God, then you will need to exercise your human spirit. Oh my God, you are not here. I mean deliberately. I mean intentionally. I mean consistently. None of us here will ever know God by accident. Every day you need to choose him as your preferred option. Because a lot of options will stand in your face. From your home to the post office, you will see so many options. So you will need to exercise your spirit every single day. I'm standing in your presence today not because I'm a preacher. I'm standing in your presence today because I exercise my spirit and Jesus gave me what to tell you. It will, be, it will amount to a waste of time, a waste of your time for you to come into this place to hear a man speak. And I'm not a good speaker. But I know that Jesus dropped some things on my heart and when he does, those words, if they are faithfully delivered, they can change the life of a man. You need to exercise your spirit. So I wake up very early in the morning. Then I begin to speak in the spirit. Speak in the spirit. Speak in the spirit. Speak in the spirit. Sometimes it takes two days for me to get a message to preach. Two days. I wake up three o'clock. I speak in the spirit till six. He doesn't speak. I say, all right, no problem. I take breakfast. I start again. And you know where I stay in Minneapolis. You need to visit Minneapolis. It's, it's just it's a so there's a walkway there's a walkway you can get lost on the on that way just speaking in the spirit and just getting lost and then when you do that and come back that's some hours if he doesn't speak no problem when the children go to sleep in the night you you, you start looking for him again start looking for him again start looking for him again sometimes you pray all night and maybe 4 a.m he'll now come and he'll give you you will know it in your spirit okay that's the only time you're qualified to speak to people. If you get used to speaking to people when you have not, when God has not spoken to you, <laughs> Ooh, may the Lord give you understanding. I exercise my spirit. I exercise my spirit. I exercise my spirit. I exercise my spirit. When you begin to trouble your spirit, then the oppression of Christ in your in your spirit man will be activated then the option of the holy one which is a faculty to which we can access spiritual knowledge switches on so the frequency of spiritual knowledge can be open to you then you begin to know things that you have not learned you begin to understand things that you were not taught you become wise by the holy ghost Please help me tell your neighbor, exercise your spirit. Exercise. You are looking for divine direction? I tell you, even if you are a good student of prayer, just mark out three months. You will spend three months. Even if you are very good. Seeking the will of God is not an easy matter. God will not speak his will just like that. You will pay a price for it. Oh. You will pay a price for it. You will pay a price for it. And there's nobody that hears God better than another person. It's just that if you exercise your spirit, you hear him more frequently. God does not speak much. God only answers much. It's only those guys that would invest in speaking to him continually that can, will get answers. He's not a talkative. He's not a... There are times... When even in heaven there is silence, you you are talking to the Lord said, Ah, that's not the Lord. That's not the Lord. Even in heaven is silent sometimes. Every activity goes mute. The whole of heaven. Exercise your spirit. And as you begin to, it's like a sailor. He's using his, his paddle. You are you are migrating. There's a place in Christ where the answer you seek is domicile. 
and until you get there you'll never hear when you are close to the place then you hear a voice say there's yogurt in the fridge vanilla 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 <laughs> everything everything will just it's, it's manual it's always manual there's no automatic if not the automatic engine will be in my house of, of praying without talking it will be running there it's always manual you paddle it you need to exercise your will to sometimes your spirit is weak so you need to use your will and say you know what I'm going to stay here until your spirit picks up that's a quickening experience of the Holy Ghost where he makes your spiritual capacity come alive and when that capacity comes comes alive I can tell you secrets that even you yourself you don't know about yourself I can tell you secrets about the day you were born when that thing comes alive oh Lord I've seen I saw the day of my birth when his operations came alive who is he that says your enemy when the Holy Ghost can come alive in you and animate your, your capacity within you to oh my God oh my God and as you keep coming to him frequently sometimes he will detain you how many of you have had the experience of the tension before when, when he, you can't leave his presence for like 6 hours and you didn't know time was moving out you lose all sense of time and he begins to speak to you mouth to mouth. You ask him a question, he will answer. Ask him a question. Okay, what about my mother? Okay, we ask. This is my brother. And let me tell you, the questions you ask, don't think you are the one that asks them. There's something he can do to you. You forget those questions. I assure you. I've, one day I prayed. I said, if you come, if he comes again, I will ask this question. He came. I did. It was when he left. I remember. So I now realize that there, there are buttons they touch. They can. Stay with him. When you stay with him, you will know his ways. You will know the way he functions. You will know the way he operates. Your human spirit is your treasure. Exercise it. Exercise it. So that's why we do 10 hour prayers. It's so that you can exercise yourself. Exercise yourself. Uh, yes, some of you want to run, don't run, stay. <laughs> Exercise us. The first 10 hours we held in Lagos, I led prayers for 10 hours. Yes, for 10 hours. Not okay. This one you will lead one back. I led prayers from beginning to end. I led prayers for 10 hours because they didn't believe human beings could pray for 10 hours. Oh, no problem. I took the mic from morning till evening. <laughs> so they now started. Now it's a culture. People even do it in their homes and they've knocked off demons everywhere. Knocked off. You say, Oh, my husband, no, put the fire on him. Oof. It's not that strong. <laughs> even though he works for the Navy, it's not that strong. Women in this place, you don't know how much power God has committed to you. You are just distracted. You are just exercise your spirit. The other day, a son of ours went to Australia for his PhD. He called me and said, these are the problems I'm going through. These are the symptoms. I said, oh, your neighbor is a witch. I've trained you enough. I don't need to tell you what to do. So he woke up in the night. He will pray from 12 to 3. When he comes back, he, he prays again. Prays, 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 prays. She... He just sent me a message now that she put her house for sale. <laughs> and so they opened the house every day by one o'clock so that people that are interested in buying the house will come and check the house out. So he also entered. And then he saw all the witchcraft equipment that the lady was using to torment him. Wake up! I was high in prayers. The wizard of Minneapolis, he heard my voice. So he wanted to check me out. He didn't know I was ready for him. He didn't know 
we were trained in Africa, in the woods. Woods. So he came through the window. I don't need to tell you what happened. No, you don't trespass. It's a crime. There are things that will not happen to you when you are alive in the spirit. So please help me tell your neighbor, it's time to wake up. Exercise your spirit. Exercise your spirit. Exercise your spirit. Sometimes, you know, a, 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 in a coven of witches, they came together and said, today, we want blood from pastors. The blood we want to accumulate in our blood bank here in the coven is the blood of pastors. That was how one of them went to the house of my father in the Lord. You know, you need to be alive in the spirit. So he now saw the witch at the window, not with his eyes. So he now laughed. <laughs> one week later, he went to preach in another city. And as he was preaching, the, somebody fell and began to shout, began to shout. It was when he went there to check who it was. It was that same face he saw in the window. It was a woman. And the woman confessed that day that when he laughed, <coughs> what she heard was a roar of a lion. <laughs> I don't want to. Let me not tell you my stories. Oh, exercise your spirit. There is power. There is capacity that resides in the Holy Ghost. If you exercise your spirit, oh my God, it's a blessing. Finally, when you exercise your spirit and the Holy Ghost arises inside of you, you will know. Because sometimes it will now begin to lay scriptures on your heart. Scriptures. You will drop them. You can drop short sentences on your heart. Short sentences. When you, when you notice that, it means he has risen up. When he rises up, Sometimes it can it can give you a song. Stop praying in tongues. Start singing that singing that song. Start singing that. The last song he gave me, he gave me the song in the morning. I sang it till night. Yes. Sang it till night. The next meeting that I went to preach, it was as if I was in, I was an invincible man. When he rises yield whenever you discern what he's doing stop doing your own stuff and begin to do what he's doing let me give you an example we stand and worship you i want to sing the song he's singing in my spirit in the realms of the angels we stand and worship you in the realm of the angels just watch me. We stand and worship you. Don't make it just in the realm of the end. Don't go to the lower octaves. You stand and worship you. In the realm of the angels. We stand and worship you. In the realm of the angels. We stand and worship you In the realm of the angels We stand and worship you Alright, thank you And I hope that uh, this clip really blesses and transforms your life If you do, don't forget to hit that subscription button And turn on the notification So that you will not miss any of our daily upload Once again, don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe. Until then, may God almighty bless and keep you. Amen.